Well, hello, mis amigos, and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing great. I hope you're having an amazing day. And today, it's time for these bad boys to become beautiful. Let me tell you a story. For the longest time now, I've seen guys with rock nail polish and super cool designs on their fingernails, and I think it's about time I tried that as well. Actually, that wasn't even the story time. Well, maybe this doesn't work. Maybe this is better. My very deep, very sad, sad story time is that whenever I did try and put nail polish on my fingernails, it looked like crap. I thought it didn't suit me. I wanted to take it off immediately and that's what I did. <laughs> Story time is over. So today we gathered here to hopefully put an end to this sad, sad story time, to this sad, sad narrative that I do no longer want to be a part of. <gasps> Wait, they've got another story time. Are you alive? Okay, grab your tissues because this is actually a bit sad. But it has a happy ending, so we're good. For the longest time now. No, seriously, ever since I can remember, and I've also talked about this with Naomi in a podcast video, so just watch all of our podcast video, and in one of them we talked about this issue. <laughs> Well, how did I start the sentence? Ever since I can remember, I bit my nails. I think it had to do with my anxiety and nervousness in general, and it was some sort of stress relief. But I'm here to share that after years and years of doing that... Wow, my camera even learned not to focus on these fingers. I mean, this still doesn't look pretty, probably, but they're fighting their way back. I'm glad to announce that I think for three months now, I have not bitten my nails, which is an achievement. And I'm really happy that we can commemorate this moment and celebrate this moment with this video. <laughs> that is why today I went to the drugstore and I bought all of the nail polish and I took you guys with me. Hi guys, welcome to my vlog. This is my hashtag OOTD. Ha, oh, posing, posing, love that. Mm, we're leaving now. Oh, we're back again. Thanks for watching my vlog. I bought so much nail polish. Look at all of this nail polish. I love nail polish so much. <laughs> ah, JK, JK, looky, looky here. We actually bought some nail polish and we bought some more nail polish and we bought even more nail polish. Yeah, well, I wanted to take you guys with me, but then unfortunately I forgot. But in my defense, it was super duper windy and my eyes are super sensitive to wind and they started tearing up and it goes outside one. I just basically died outside. Maybe that made me forget to pull out my camera. Without further ado, let's just get started. Oh, I just wanted to thank Leonard because he basically suggested me to do this video. Well, maybe my nail salon looks a bit ratchet, but at least I've got pomegranate seeds and coconut. I love coconut, but this coconut does not taste good. I also bought this very luxurious nail kit and I don't even know what's in there. I have the most amazing idea for my first design and I felt really creative as I came up with this idea and I feel super smart as well because I don't know if anyone ever came up with this idea, you know? So we're just gonna get started with the first idea. Yeah? Okay, I have another issue. I wash my hands too often and so they're always super dry. But I'ma get some hand cream, which I use 10,000 times a day and it doesn't do anything, but I'ma apply it anyway. Amazing content. We have a visitor. Hello. I was told to always apply some sort of oil before and after I put on nail polish, so that's what I'm gonna do. For the first nail, I am going to choose this color, which coincidentally is very similar to the color of my sweater. Why is this brush so humongous? Why is this color so ugly? He said and applied it anyway. <laughs> now onto the difficult hand. Oh my god. He fought his hardest battle, but in the end he had to admit. What the fuck is this nail? What the fuck? I don't know about y'all, but I know about us. Me and my fingernails. Now dry. Dry, 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 dry. All right, I'm sure most of you guys cannot wait for the design I came up with. First, we need our hand with our fresh nail polish. Then we need a brush. Then we need a white nail polish. Then we have to open said nail polish. Then we're gonna dip into our white. And I just thought, how cute would it be if this brush worked? If on this nail polish we would have little clouds. I'ma keep dipping into the white and I'ma dry. 
That was way too much. What the fuck are you thinking? I'm just making small little circus. Oops, circus? Yeah, I'm not Britney Spears. All eyes on his fingernail in the center of the ring, just like a circus, he said. But he did not actually draw a circus. Instead, he drew circles that in some would create clouds, at least in his and hopefully your imagination. And now that we've all got this beautiful song stuck in our head and he was done with his left hand, he continued doing the same on his right hand. To finish off this first look, he had to ask his biggest supporter for his opinion. Chili, do you like it? Do you like it? Do you like it? Doesn't that look amazing? Alrighty, oh, look number one is done. This is the result. Honestly, for my first try, it didn't go too bad. What the fuck? When did that happen? I don't know if I like it though. This hand, by the way, is the absolute worst. I don't know what's happening here. And I don't know why it's happening to this side, but not to this side. We'll be back tomorrow because tomorrow I'll do another look. But since, and this is a lie, he hadn't eaten all day, he was really hungry, so it was time for some dinner and Demi Lovato's new documentary. Hey you guys, it's the next day. My nails have kind of survived. I mean, I don't know a reason why they would die, but they didn't. Except the right hand, obviously, but that died yesterday, so we're over that now. Either way, as you can see, I've changed. I'm wearing flowers now, we're over the clouds now, and I think it's time for flowers on my hands. As a base, we will use this blue, this pastel blue, but not so pastel, which uh, it doesn't really come close to my shirt, but close enough. <laughs> Alrighty guys, the base coat is done. I have a bit of an issue because I don't have brown nail polish, which I didn't think to buy brown nail polish because I don't think I'd ever use that again. So what I'm thinking right now is the art teacher that I'm not and that I will never be comes out in me and I'm thinking maybe I can just mix the green and red that I've got and turn it into a brown. I don't know, can you mix nail polishes? So we've got green and red here. Maybe I'll also add a bit of white because I don't want it to be too dark. Now we're in Italy. Ew! This is too blue. This green is too bluish. That's why it's turning purple. Maybe some yellow. No. Beautiful purple though. Also add a bit of orange because I don't know what else to do. Ooh, actually, yeah, this is good enough. So we're just gonna dip into our beautiful brown and just put little dotties everywhere. Initially, I did want to mix it, but seeing as though this doesn't really work, I think I'm gonna go in with the orange first and then just add a bit of yellow to it afterwards. We're done with the left side. It doesn't look like I imagined. Yeah, not at all. I don't really like it. Oh, who am I, you ask? Yes, I'm the one with the... I don't know what type of flowers on his fingernails that match my shirt. Sad thing is that you can very easily see the brush strokes. I'm still working on my technique because that is not really the look I'm going for, but it's very artistic, very eight-year-old, but, you know. How do you like my new nails? Better than the ones from yesterday. Silly, what do you say? You've been my judge yesterday as well. I barely even touched it. Is it because I put too much nail polish? Is the nail polish just shit? Because this is dry. At least olives exist to fill the void caused by an effed up nail polish. And because even the olives didn't help that much, at least he had some lunch, played some games, and after that, it's smoochy time for me and my nails. In the end, he had to go back to his ultimate cure for everything. Hi, it is not the next day, but... I'm ready to get rid of these nails. No offense, buddy, but I feel like you should get some sleep instead. I'm ready for something new, as you can see by my outfit. <laughs> so I got my coffee. For some reason, this camera always highlights the bags under my eyes. <sighs> that is true, actually. For some reason, they don't look as bad in real life in another camera. Obviously, as you can see, we've got red and white stripes. So, here is my plan. We're gonna need a base coat of white on all of them. Next, we're gonna use this tape situation to put little stripes on each nail, and then we're gonna go over it with our red. <gasps> that is satisfying. Whoa. And then we should have our shirt. You guys, I don't want to say something, but let me just say something because you know what? All right, all right, all right. I did a thing. I did a thing and it worked. It actually worked. It looks... It looks absolutely shitty. It doesn't look good, but it's... 
exactly what I wanted. I mean, obviously I thought it might look cool, but it doesn't. But it's definitely exactly my shirt. And, good news, the left hand, wait, the right hand also looks good. Good. I'll make some food now. <laughs> Well, let me present you my dinner with my fresh manicure. For dinner, we're basically having the same we had for lunch. But this time, we're not having beetroot. Instead, we're having avocado. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm gonna throw this whole hand away. The next morning, he had a nice breakfast with his beautiful nails and some This Is Us, even though he was not a fan of this episode at all. But the coffee made it all worth it and offered him a nice opportunity to show off his nails. Here's your last look at my amazing nails in sunlight. Mm-hmm. Hot, 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 hot. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great, now this man wants to cuddle. Oh, this hurts. How am I supposed to get out my nail polish remover? Now, I won't tell you guys yet what my next look will be, but I'm a just paint them all black now. So we've done that. It's another smoochie time. We're watching Epic Streams because I can't play Epic right now. And so far, my nails are really going with my outfit. <laughs> Hello, can you already guess the vibe for today? Maybe now you can. I don't think I have to explain it. Let's do it. As it turns out, it's very warm today, so I won't be wearing this sweater for very long. Today I'm actually thinking, I kind of like the black and I think I did a mediocre job at applying it. Maybe I'll just paint one fingernail differently on each hand, obviously. Obviously on this sweater we've got two different shades of blue. We're not gonna do this because we only have this one shape. I actually... Not Omi has another shade of blue. Aha, got another shade of blue. Oh my god, everything's so shiny. Up here, good, cool, very well. Love that. Straight down, all the way up. A little bit down. Up, down, up, down, up, down. Bigger one, gonna go down and like so. I think we can almost take a bigger brush. Let's not be too confident in our skills. I say applying it right out the bottle. I'm sorry, but is the black dissolving as well? Or is this just, why am I picking up the black? Wait a second, what is happening? Why am I picking up the black? We're just gonna let this dry and then probably go over it again. I kind of don't want to do this anymore. This is the look. It's not gonna get better than this and I'm really hungry. So I need some lunch before... No, that's why I'm calling it done. Funnily enough, I actually prefer the other side for once. But either way, I think it goes really nicely with my sweater. Yeah, kind of fucked this up and stuff, but it looks cute. Here's a super great tip to discuss the fact that you've been eating pasta for the last 48 days. Just blend together with anything you can find and put it on your pasta and then it just feels different. And sometimes it even tastes good. Here's the thing, I liked it and then it was ruined. So my plan now is we're just gonna pretend it's a new day in whenever I decide it's a new day for you guys. Then we're gonna do something else. <sighs> it's the next day and it's so early. Thank God I've got my coffee. I also got breakfast, which is definitely not just an afternoon snack. Mm, I just saw a snack out there. Actually didn't. <laughs> Let's do our nails one last time. I was thinking of doing something else, but change of plans because I found this sweater. I won't be able to do this holographic kind of effect because I am not a genius. We're just gonna do a butterfly on an orange background. Now that we've got this Halloween theme going on, I think it's time we continued. And continued he did. With every line, stroke after stroke, he tried to capture the beauty of a butterfly. And beauty only really in art because in real life, we all know butterflies aren't really beautiful they're kind of disgusting but we're not here to have that conversation because we want to look at beautiful butterflies which is something that Vincent does not have on his nails even after spending 48 minutes trying to create a beautiful butterfly but he's really not ready to have that conversation yet so let him just say I mean from far away guys this is it we have reached our final form a butterfly even though we've got two different shades of orange going on I still feel the vibe and I like this the best out of all of them because this one actually looks the cleanest and now I'm actually gonna make the vegan bolognese so I'm gonna end this video right here. <laughs> I hope I inspired you to try out new stuff with your nails as well. And well, who knows, maybe I'll be rocking nail polish from now on. 
<laughs> Either way, this was fun, but also really exhausting because it just takes so long. Just let me know if you want to visit my nail salon, but until then, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Entonces, nos vemos la próxima vez. Bye!